What's up everyone? Here is another fun little school video. Um, so we were talking about um, giving feedback, doing all these different things and how we're gonna be uploading videos on school. Um, obviously from the get-go, I am encouraging private um, videos and things like that because I don't wanna like have the standard set to what I'm about to talk about. But there's something that is really, really a big passion of mine. It is the whole premise behind my entire YouTube account, by my streaming, by my whole uh, approach to where I'm going with my entire career. So this is called becoming uh, a documenting, like uh, being a documenting creator. So <laughs> there's multiple different styles of being a creator, especially on YouTube, you can do whatever you want. Um, but there's a, a thing called document don't create, which is a, a, a term coined by um, Gary Vaynerchuk, who is a really amazing marketer and, and content creator that I follow. I used to follow a lot of stuff, not so much anymore but um, we all grow. Anyway, but the documenting creator route is super, super valuable um, for anyone who is in our community or who, and I do, we do have quite a few people that are actually like, they, they have the, it, there's an urge. It's like mm, deep down, I got to do this. I feel it. I feel it. Um, that they want to, you know, express what they do to the world. And um, I felt that. Um, and, one thing we have to do is like, aside from getting past all the psychological bullshit that goes through our brains and our insecurities and imposter syndrome and all that stuff, anxiety, whatever you might have, I had a heaps of it. I've gotten like way good at managing that stuff. Um, but the documenting your journey is seriously the most underrated thing that I can ever tell anyone who is trying to be good at music to do. So what this is about is you make your, your channel public. Um, if you're posting content in our school, make your channel public. Be like, hey, my name is like, for instance, my say this. I mean, I'll just literally give you me an example. Hi, my name is Lauren. I want to write a hit song. I'm going to do be documenting my progress over the next 10, 20 years. And uh, if I make it, I make it. And if not, you will watch me keep trying the whole way through. So if I can teach you anything along the way, I would love to teach you. And that is my whole content creation structure. Structure. I am documenting my journey of building in a, a process to writing a hit song. And then um, I'm helping you guys along the way with all the knowledge that I learn and giving it away for free. So that is my journey. Now, the pros to the, uh, well, I'll, let's just start with the cons. There is one con that I can only think of, um, which is trolls. You're going to get people who are going to tell you you suck, who are going to tell you your shit, who are going to tell you to kill yourself, who are going to tell you um, you will never make it, who, you know, you're not good, whatever. There's going to be a lot of that kind of stuff that exists on the internet. Surprisingly, I've had very little of it, mainly because I just don't really react to it. And a lot of the times uh, that negative criticism is actually a reflection of the person. Um, they're going through some pain. Um, that's their emotional uh, way to like, you know, I don't know, break out, you know, like good people don't really like shit on other people on the internet. Um, so like, uh, like there's, there's something, there's an insecurity in them that you are sparking in your content. Like it is, it is really, really um, a really crappy feeling for people when they watch other people do what, what they wish they could do. And then also like, or just seeing them try do what they wish they could do and just their insecurity of that they're fearful of trying and they're not putting themselves out there will cause an emotional response and they will be like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keyboard warrior it up on this person. So that's the only con that I really see in this whole process. Um, if people say, oh, you haven't made it. It's like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to keep doing it, right? Like if someone says, like, say, if we look at me, right? Um, like, someone could be like, oh, well, you suck at this song. And I've had it. Like people have been like, you suck at the song. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, that chorus wasn't that good. And these things weren't that good. But I will post tomorrow and I will practice and I will get better. And then um, you use that feedback, even if it is quite harsh, because um, they obviously aren't filtered. But um, I use that feedback. It feeds me. It makes me work harder. Today, I woke up. I would just give you an example of today. I woke up in the morning and I had a comment of someone um, just like, it wasn't really a rip on it, but it was something like, oh, it's 2024 and 
this guy doesn't even know how to play neon or something like he doesn't even know you, you use your thumb and index finger. We had like a satirical video, not satirical, but it's like we just had a fun moment that happened on stream where one of our viewers wanted to learn how to play neon to impress his, his date, which should be coming up pretty soon. And we're going to find out. How, we're going to find out if he did well. But but this person came in there and they were just like all real. But when I looked at it and he's like, oh, this guy's just talking for ages. It's like, oh. You know what? Well, one, yeah, he's right. I do talk a lot in my videos. Um, I do ramble on. I'm rambling on right now. I try to give like a whole picture of the context and that is a flaw in my my ability as a communicator. So that's a really cool thing to pick out because I'm like, there are people that enjoy my content, um, but then there's also some people that I'm losing because I'm not getting there fast enough. It's not clear enough and uh, and I'm expanding too much on 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 things. So that is one thing that I took from it. And then the other thing was he's missed the point of the video because it's not about playing the guitar. And I was like, oh, what is the mistake I've made there? And so I was like, well, I haven't time stamped the video. So that's my fault on my end where I could have served that person better and being like, you know what? If I add timestamps, maybe in the next person that's like him that wants to shit on the neon playing might actually look at it and be like, Oh, he's got like a bunch of singing things in here. Maybe I will click on those things and then see what it's all about. I mean, if they just want to shit on my playing, that's fine. Um, I don't use the crap call method, nor will I really bother to learn how to do it because I don't care. But you learn from negative criticism in that way. It takes a level of um, self-awareness to be like, I'm completely secure in my playing to have someone like tell me I suck. And I'm like, you do you, bud. I mean, you tell me I suck. There's a lot of other people that say I like it. But regardless of whether people like it or don't like it, you need to be confident in the content that you you create to be like, I know my truth. I know where I'm at. I like what I do. And if I like what I do, I'm good. So that is the only negative that's going to come from it. Now, the positives that are going to come from you taking down this route, like going down the journey of becoming a creator and documenting your progress is one, you have evidence of progress. You will have a stack of videos of you being like, hey, day one of me learning how to play Neon, for example. And then you have day 10 of me learning how to play Neon. And you will see the progress. And then others will be able to see the progress. And others will be able to celebrate in your wins. And they'll be able to feel like you do not understand the level of motivation and the level of influence. Like they talk about influences. And like you have influences that are like, oh, I'm going to influence. no. You as a person, if you go out there and put yourself out there and you show that you played day one and this is what you sound like and day 10, this is what you sound like and day 14, this is what you sound like, you could you could change that person's perspective and their life and in, in ways that like you just don't even know and you could make them want to pick up the guitar again and be like, you know what? Like that person is not like, I mean, not from a bad perspective, but they could be like, man, I play guitar better than them and they're trying like... I need to try, you know, and then just you doing that could influence them and help them be better and help them want to do it. Um, even though if that, that sounds like a, like a, like a put down, but it's not a put down. It's like you're inspiring them. So, um, you don't need to be me. You don't need to be John Mayer. You don't need to be anyone that's super successful. In fact, your relatability in whatever level you're at, whether you're a beginner or a professional is going to serve different audiences. There's audiences of beginners that will like look at what I do and like, oh yeah, sure enough, Luan, it's really easy for you to say that. You just pick up a guitar and you learn it. And it's like, but they don't know that I took like 18 to like 19 years of practice to get there. And, and it's my fault too, because I didn't document those 19 years. So they didn't get to see me on year one trying to play Jingle Bells and year two trying to figure out how to play a couple of chord progressions and how to play like some classical piece that I sucked at. And then year three, where I was like, oh, I've got my electric guitar. I'm going to do all my guitar exercises and then practice every single day trying to learn how to play Eruption by Eddie Van Halen and the six months that it took of me like every day putting in like one to two hours a day. Like, you don't see that. I didn't document it. I failed. I have failed my audience in that regard. But you don't have to do that. Now, that going in with that part, you will create a community of people that celebrate in your wins, that will join in in your growth, and you will inspire them to grow too. And you could inspire them to make their own 
channel. And then we have three. There is stuff that you will not see in your playing that will actually change the way you change your, like there's stuff that you don't see in your playing that they will see in your playing. They'll be like, oh my God, that was so dope that you did. And you'll be like, huh, I didn't know you guys like that. Recently, I posted a video of Gravity. Um, I was singing Gravity. I just sang it on stream. I was like, yeah, whatever. But I got feedback from people like, oh my God, I, your voice sounded so good when you sang that. And I was like, huh. I didn't care about it. I was like, it, it is what it is. But I just posted it and then immediately got great feedback from it because people liked that. They liked the sound of my voice when I sang that way. And I was like, cool. I didn't know. I didn't know that was one of the good songs that you guys liked of me. I just had fun playing it. Um, the fourth thing is you're going to learn faster with feedback. You're going to learn faster with negative feedback. You're going to learn faster with positive feedback. Um, the fact that you're posting these videos and you have this level of accountability to other people Oh my God, it, it changes your life. It's changed my life in this in the span of nearly four months. Um, I went full-time as a creator in January. Um, and since January, we've built a school community. We've built a YouTube channel. We've built a stream. We have built a super, super fun and engaging community. We've got this loop pedal from the Ed Sheeran loop pedal that was donated by the whole community. Like just so much. Um, even the, we've got like a, We've got a community concert that we're doing monthly now in my town. Like there's just so many amazing things that happen from this that you learn and that you build up in your skill set. And it's just invaluable in my opinion. You're going to get so much faster with the feedback loops that you get. And you're going to create this level of accountability for yourself and your community that um, will change your life. And uh, the last one, a bit morbid in, in my perspective, uh, is you're going to die. Just it's, it's plain and simple. Uh, I'm really sorry if anyone is ha is worried about these kinds of things, but the the plain and simple thing is we're all going to die. It's happened. The, the two things that are sure you're going to die. Well, one thing that's sure you're going to die, hundred percent. Now, how you choose to live your life is how you choose to live your life. But what you can do um, is you can have a YouTube channel that you document everything. And until YouTube doesn't exist, which I highly doubt, um, Google will ever just like never exist there will be some form of it that will be backed up and there will be backlogs of it you could document your entire process of whatever it is you were trying to achieve even if it was for like five years but your future family your kids your grandkids they will have you know a diary of what it was like to be in your life they will know like this was what was going on in your life and you know they'll watch this video of mine like my kids will watch this video of mine of like oh that was when i was born and like dad was working really, really hard and he was trying to do this and he was trying to make this work. And if it pans out, it pans out. I was like, oh, this is what dad looked like when he couldn't even write a good song. You know, <laughs> this is what dad looked like when he couldn't even play Little Wing by Stevie Ray Vaughan. But in two months, I will play it because that's going to be my first challenge. Ooh, but that's what I mean. This is the beauty of this stuff is you're going to document your whole journey. And, you know, when we're gone, like the memories will exist, but you can... You can curate some of those memories. And for your family, like I would have loved to have seen my grandfather's journey journey. If like I could have seen the vlog of him escaping persecution and doing all these different things that he did um when he was in former Yugoslavia and all these things and and all the great things that he did to help refugees and when there was genocide happening and stuff like that. And because he got a Queen Service medallion um from the New Zealand government. Uh like just all that cool, crazy stuff that like it is documented, but just poorly documented through newspapers and things like that. But if I could have seen a vlog of him doing it and meeting other people and changing people's lives and helping people and oh, it would have just, just been so cool of like, hey, here's like day 10 of me on like some Italian boat that I managed to sneak on and stow away. And I'm currently traveling all the way to the, you know, Australia or New Zealand, or wherever he was traveling at that time. He did wild things. So, um, and there's there's millions of stories, billions of stories of like grandparents and parents and you'll hear ancestors of all the wild stuff that they did. So this is the documenting creator thing that I would highly recommend that, um, that any of our community members try. So that's enough of me rambling. Um, so we will jump into some more content. So hopefully you guys have fun with it and uh, if you guys do get into the uh, document 
documenting creator mindset and you start building a YouTube channel, let everyone know and uh, make the video. Be like, hey, I was inspired by this video. I'm inspired by this community. And um, I want to become a creator and I want to make my own music. And this is the start of my journey. And you can just document that whole thing. And then after you, you can leave that channel and be like, this was my start. And then if you want to have a curated thing and you want to be like, you know, use all that time to learn and build and hone your skill set as a creator. And then you'd be like, you know what? I'm about to go pro. And then you go pro and you make a new account and you'd be like, this is me, my artist, boom. And it's clean and it's like amazing techniques because you've honed all these skills and you've posted hundreds of videos. No, it'd be very, very cool. So I wish I did it. I'm just saying. Anyway, can't wait to see what you guys do in the future. And uh, let's go.